is starting us off. I'll kick it off. All right, Tom Goss, go for it. Ready? Are you fuckers ready? We're <laughs> ready now, all right? Ready? Three, two, one, roast! Uh, Bob's wife is half his age, but seven times his life expectancy? <laughs> She's half his age, which means that when she was 11, Bob would still fuck her. <laughs> uh, Tom here uh, has quit dating, uh, to the surprise of no one. He quit dating because his love language is headbutts. <laughs> uh, Bob looks like he calls trans women tricked me ladies. <laughs> He's that special kind of stupid that would bring up his orange belt in a bar fight. <laughs> All right, give it up for Psych Ward Grimace over here. Uh, <laughs> Tom, he's a rough and tumble guy. He tra he uh, he does Muay Thai. Uh, Tom does Muay Thai. Uh, and by that I mean when he goes up the stairs, he gets Muay tired. <laughs> <laughs> Bob looks like the Burger King mascot, and having it your way involved dying at 47. <laughs> oh God, yeah, fucking. Pugsley Adams over here. If he, if he farmed ferrets behind a GameStop. Uh, yeah, say hello to the eighth dwarf, Dopey. Uh, his vibe is very Oscar the Grouch, but he's into QAnon. You know what I mean? Uh, it's honor to be roasting my opponent. Every man in a saloon polishing a beer glass for an uncomfortable amount of time. Uh, Bob's favorite band is Tool, and my favorite tool is Bob. <laughs> Spiral out, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Tom here actually used to have a long neck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom used to have a long neck until he took that job as a human whack-a-mole. <laughs> to, to be fair, that Walmart was in a pretty bad neighborhood. <laughs> Uh, if you're wondering why Bob is stupid and sad for no reason, he's Irish. Uh, he's also an alcoholic, but he slurs the hardest when he drives through black neighborhoods. <laughs> that was pretty good, Slow Rogan. Uh, <laughs> hey, still faster than you. Yeah, yeah, name a psych med. He's on it. Uh, oh man, I, I'm glad you, you made it here. Uh, I thought you had killed yourself in Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> it's like if Bane was a garbage pail kid. Uh, Bob looks like Vault Boy from Fallout. If Vault Boy only did this when another man was fucking his wife. <laughs> Oh, man, now we know what it looks like if God slapped Jack Black with an extra chromosome. Last joke. <laughs> Last joke. Uh, if you're wondering how Bob's marriage is going, his wife told me he has a small dick. Uh, she's Jewish, which means there are eight candles in their home that get blown more than Bob does. <laughs> Try marrying a Jew. Look, <laughs> uh, give, I do want to give a hand for Bobby Hills. Have eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Alex Jones. If he could, it was he was too broke for freedom of speech. <laughs> he's like, yeah, deep state, more like deep fried. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's a real fat earther. <laughs> like you're different, but I can smell both of your asses from the corner. <laughs> God damn it. All right, panel, I think you're safe from their set over there. Kevin Kellum, first thoughts? God damn it. These guys look like they're going to get thrown out of a fantasy football league for no apparent reason. <laughs> what do you mean going to? <laughs> what do you mean I can't call my team a racial slur? <laughs> Uh, Tom, you traveled a long way. Uh, you did a great job. You said some mean things about that guy and his wife. 
Uh, uh, but that, that guy, like he says to many people he doesn't like in his neighborhood, told you to get the fuck out of here, all right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Real humble, humble park over here from Bob Keane. Uh, Bob, that's the best battle you've ever seen, you've ever done here. So go to for Bobby Keane. Yeah. 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 What for Bob Keane? Next, so Rich, I'd like to hear from you. I've ne Tom, I've never seen someone make Bob look so skinny. It's <laughs> you two on stage together, it's like... It's like two employees arguing about who's gonna get manager at GameStop. That's <laughs> cool. But that was an awesome battle. I thought it was neck and neck, but the, the Jack Black joke was like a was like a kill punch for me. So I gotta give it to Bob. Hey. Okay, yeah, you give it up. <laughs> they hate me. I that battle was the, I mean it was yeah. neck to whatever. <laughs> you guys were hilarious. That was awesome. You guys look like you're running rival KKK groups. <laughs> No, we hate them more. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I mean, it was so close, but I think Bob just had like the bigger pops just to buy a little, so my vote goes to Bob, but you both were hilarious. Good job. Bob Keith is the winner, but we need some final thoughts from last few Keith. That was, I mean, what a great fight between two guys who really think the waitresses at Hooters like them. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys look like you're on your way to divorce court to try not to get custody. <laughs> Fuck, that was that is such a hard call to make. Uh, Tom, I love you. Slurs in a black neighborhood, I think, was my favorite joke of the battle. But I think Bob had a few more consistent big pops, so I am going to buy a hair, give it to Bob. But fucking great work, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I too was uh, torn. Um, and I, maybe if you were wearing that stupid fucking Kendrick Lamar shirt <laughs> with your white ass, too small ass shirt, bro, what the fuck, dog? You are not like them. <laughs> For me, it was if Babe was a garbage pail kid. That that got me. That shit was fucking hilarious. You guys were are both great writers. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Great fucking job for the both of you. Well, we'll go, well yeah, Tom. Let's interview both of you. I guess Bob is once again forced his way onto a lineup. Now, <laughs> nice. Oh man, look at these two shockingly not twins somehow. Tom, it's uh, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, can I ask how long you've been battling? Because you've been doing it for forever now, too. Yeah, no, the first bat I don't know. I started a couple months after Keith. I think he had well, two battles in when I started doing it. Yeah, but around the same time. Uh, so I think twenty early 2015 or mid-2015. I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying, I don't know, somewhere around that era. I, I quit in late 2016. Um, oh, that's an, uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I quit. I mean, there was a bunch of reasons I quit. Part of it was that I was focusing on stand up. Part of it was like, I don't know. I wasn't ready to hear certain jokes about certain topics and I didn't want to like give out a bunch of restrictions. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to step away for now. Uh, it also around the TV show, it, man, it got really hostile in a way that I was just like, ah, I'm going to step away for a second. But I also think it helped a lot of the people grow because of that. Rose Battle is a great like distillation for comics to understand what this business actually is. It's a good job. It's like a great way to get a, like a little taste of what the industry is actually like, if that makes sense. So why does Rose Battle give a unique insight versus another format or another type of show? I think, well, one, uh, you're going to hear a lot of mean shit about you, uh, both online and in person. And that's, that's, that's like a lot of like making it in com like the further you are in comedy, the more of that kind of hot like you're going to have to deal with. Like if you look at certain videos, you know, some of the comments are brutal towards certain battlers. But that is what your career will be if you have a career. So I think it's like a, a, a great kind of like, I don't know, training for like, all right, this is what the industry is. And because we're so mean to each other, people feel open to like, ah, I want to. Throw my two cents in, too. Uh, and it also gives a platform to comics who are six months in. Unlike many, many platforms, you have to work your way and work your way. And you're doing this, too. But I think that's why uh, it's really good. Is You can 
be young comedy blow up and then all of a sudden everyone in you know ohio is c- calling you gay on the internet you know it's yeah, it's rare that yeah other other formats can do that for people for sure how many battles have you done since you've gone back when, since you started again? uh since i started again this is six six battles, six battles. uh bob ruined my ruins uh, my winning streak <laughs> I went four battles without a single vote against me, including earlier this Tuesday. And Bob, I knew, I knew he was gonna bring his absolute best against me. The legend killer. Yeah. <laughs> the legend killer. Bob the Barnacle strikes again. You just can't scrape him from the hole. Bob Keen, every time we have you on, uh, when you're battling, dude, it's you just people want to root against you just because of the vibe. But, but goddamn. It's a well cultivated vibe. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of culture um, on a petri dish. Um, but uh, bomb. But I will say, dude, what a fucking. I mean, I think who's who said that this was the best? Kevin said that was the best battle he's done. I might have to agree. That might be the best uh, Bob Keen performance. How did you feel about your battle with uh, the legend Tommy? No, no, that 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 one felt good. That one felt real good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really getting I feel in bad right now, <laughs> I, get, I went in Tom's ass dry. You know what? Feels great. Feels great. No, no, it's especially fun because like most of the time I'm going with like people I like see on a regular basis, uh people around Chicago. But I've been a huge fan of his and Keith's uh uh stand up and uh podcast for years now. And uh and so yeah, they're like the only two people in LA, LA I want to know. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but no, uh, he and he brought it. I, I was watching your clips when I was working stuff out. I was like, all right, time to take another L, but let's have fun. But it uh, no, it worked out really well. I was just silly enough, and uh, it, it felt fantastic. Well, you, deli- you delivered, and I appreciate on behalf of Rose Battle Chicago, thank you for being the uh, the transient that's able to like transport la comics when they first start doing battling here they're like i don't know who anybody in chicago to battle i'm like we have bob king they're like oh i remember that asshole yeah i can do that one for sure so thank you bob king.